Hello, I'm back. All I have is seven minutes. Okay, let's go. So, um, I want to encourage somebody out there to like know who you are. Know who you are and know what you're not. That is so important. Um, I was talking to a friend and um, the discussion that we were having was reminding me of situations that I've been in in my life as a child and um, you know in my adulthood and um, you know it's I've always like I always knew certain things about myself as a child innately and I believe, I believe that came from like the Holy Spirit you know God and but I would always question those things about myself because of people's opinions of me or what they thought I was or who they thought I was. And the reason why I would question it is because I didn't have confidence in who God was telling me that I was. There wasn't, there wasn't a firm foundation of confidence. And so it, that's why I'm saying it's so important for us to know <laughs> the way to that that went away. Um, it's why it's so important for us to for us to know who we are, because you'll walk into a lot of people, and you'll get around a lot of folks in your life, and they think that they they will like see you through their trauma. They'll see you for what someone else did. You know what I'm saying? And so. It's important to know who you are, know what you are and what you're not. So that when someone tries to say something that is against who you know yourself to be, you can combat that with the word of God. You can combat that with what you know about yourself. And I'm now having to, at the age of 30, almost I'm almost 32, y'all. Be 32 in December. Um, I'm having to, at this age, do the hard work of having, of, of building a firm foundation of who I am and who I'm not. Because I, I, growing up, I didn't always have that, that, safe place to do that and so it's not easy it's hard because I'm having to do that with a lot of um variables that 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 come and go in my life I don't have the I don't have the 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 I guess the beauty of you know someone always telling me yeah this is who you are you know um or I don't always have a person, you know, telling me, no, I, I'll have random people. I'll have my community. I have Jesus or whatever. And um, I'm grateful for that. But I but it's not always an everyday thing where I'm being told this is who you are or I'm being and then I'm having to also having to fight you know those interactions with people that don't see me through the eyes of Christ and will see me through their trauma or will see me through whatever perverted glass that they see me through or perverted window that they see me through based upon what they've gone through in their life and so I have to go through the tedious task of building my confidence of who I am, who I know myself to be against those obstacles. So it's not, it's not, it's not easy, you know, and, and I, I've started doing that just recently, you know, started doing that just recently. So anyways, know who you are, know what you're not. And I would encourage you, the best way that I know is get to know the one who created you. He knows you. He knows your heart through and through. Um, and then start speaking that over yourself. 
And what has helped me is getting around community of people um, that uh, can speak life into you. And that may be a couple of people. It may not be a big group of people. It may just be a few people, you know. But initially, learn God's voice. Learn who your creator is. Because then that will help you to decipher when people start to speak things over you. You'll be able to say, oh, no, I don't, I don't, that, I'm, that's not who I am. I'm not taking that. <laughs> or, you know what, you're right. That is me. I can own up to that. You know what I'm saying? You can learn, you can learn the voice of God in truth. You know what I'm saying? So that you, but you'll be able to take truth. And then you'll be able to be like, that's a lie. Okay? Get behind me, Satan. But yeah, that's it, you guys. I love you.